well, the college was there too. You Berkeley. went. You did. You went to Berkeley College too. Yeah, and the podiatric school was there too. That's well. You went to podiatric school in San Francisco. Well, Bay Area. Bay Area, absolutely. Yeah, and then you were a doctor, Pop, for all those years. I was a doctor. I don't remember that. Uh, Dad, you're a podiatrist. Dad, you are a foot doctor. You oh. work on feet. You remember feet like this right here, that foot? <laughs> you got feet too. I got feet, you got feet. That's a good thing about being a foot doctor is most people have feet, you know? You have a pretty big market because if you know someone, chances are they've got feet. Is that right? I guess so. Well, do you know a lot of people without feet? No. I mean, sometimes, you know, people lose their legs or they might have to have a foot amputated, but most people have feet. Yeah. So, you know, it's not like you're selling, you know, a CB radio where only certain people are in the market for a CB radio. Everybody's got feet. And if those feet have problems, those feet need to be worked on. And they need to be worked on by a professional podiatrist, licensed to deal with foot issues. There you go. That's absolutely Good for true. you, good for you. Good for you, you're the foot doctor. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to uh, take an ad, write an ad up. <laughs> Who am I? Well, that's, that's, that, we'll do that, Dad. We'll make a foot ad. What do you want to advertise? Corn services, bunions? What, what's your specialty? I don't know. Well, what do you like? You know, what's, what's a common problem? Orthotics, plantar fasciitis, ingrown toenail. Yeah, anything with feet. Anything with feet. Anything with feet. Have you ever come across somebody with like six toes? Uh, what? Six toes. Have you what? ever seen a patient with six toes or no, seven I toes? I have not. How about four toes or three toes? Four toes? Yeah, four, three or four toes. Well, sure, I've seen that a lot. You got really? Is that people that were born that way or they had them their toes chopped off? Either way. Yeah. How do you treat somebody with three toes? What was the problem? I don't know. Missing toes. The problem is, look, Doc, I only got three toes. Well, I normally have five. You do normally have five. Yeah. So what do you do if someone has three? I don't know. I haven't met anybody with only three toes. I'd be essentially the same. All right. All right. Have you ever met anybody with like a foot growing sideways out of their ankle? Like a foot, you know, instead of being forward, the foot is sideways. Have you ever seen that? No. Have you ever seen a backward foot? Uh, where the, a backward foot where the heel is pointing forward and the toes are pointing back. No, that, that's um, reverse. No, I've never seen that. All right. I mean, I'm sure it's happened. Somebody's got reverse feet. Probably so. Are I'll they? bet they're pretty damn quick at backpedaling. If, I mean, if you could be a defensive back, if you got reverse feet in the NFL, you're made to be a defensive back. I don't remember what I did. Well, Pop, you were a doctor. You did all those things. You did foot surgery. Some of it I do. Yeah. No, uh, I don't do all foot surgery. You did some. Yeah. All right, what do you want to know about your grandkids, your kids, your, your living conditions, where you live, who you live with? What do you want to know, Pop? What do we want to do with them? Well, what do we want to do with who? All my kids growing up. Well, you got six kids. They're all grown up. Your youngest kid's 40. That's Josh. He's 40. So you you got grown kids, Does Bob. he want to be in the podiatry? Does, he, does Josh want to go to podiatry school? I don't think so. I don't know what he wants to do. He didn't ask me. Pop, he's 40 now. What's that? He's 40 years old. Josh is? Yep, and he's got three kids of his own. What more do you need? That's it. You need a place to live, a roof over your head, some mouths to feed, you know. 
I do know. <laughs> a woman to keep you company, right? Right. Yeah. That's all you need. Or a man, depending on... Well, then, quietly all is you need. Wisdom and monetary factors come in. Wisdom and monetary factors as well, absolutely. Hopefully the wisdom comes with life experience, and hopefully the monetary comes with hard work. But you're, you're personally... A ba uh, businessman. I was. I'm a retired lawyer, Pop. But you're also a businessman. I'm also a businessman. Yeah. Just call me businessman. Business Dan. Nothing wrong with business. Nothing man. wrong with business, Pop. No. But say so you do that too. I'll do that too. Yeah. Yeah. What else, Pop? What do you want to know? It's Wednesday. What's going on Wednesday? It's Wednesday today. Yeah. And here we are. Happy Wednesday, Wednesday. Are you happy today? I'm happy, Pop. I already, I already did some work this morning. I'm pretty happy. Okay, that's good. That's good. Are you happy? I don't know. I'm happy I'm still alive. I'm happy you're still alive, too. Yeah. And I'm happy to be alive myself. Oh, well, you're good at it. Yeah. And you know that I'm your son, Pop. Right? I, what are you talking about? I'm your child. You made me, uh, you made my life. You, I made you? Yes, you did. You're my dad. Well, I'm happy to hear that. I know. And you made me. And then when I was born, you know what you said? No. That's my favorite child right there. When I, I was, when I, I was. I don't know because I wasn't. I wasn't understanding anything. You weren't understanding that? Dad, I came out, right? And and in the in the delivery room you held me and you looked down, you had five other kids. They were wherever they were, and you looked down, and you said, Dan, that's my favorite baby right there. And I've been your favorite ever since. That's you that's what you say. That's what I that's what I say. Well that's okay. Is am I off a little bit? You don't remember that, Pop? I distinctly remember looking up the day I was born and you looking down saying, son, you're my favorite. I remember that. You do. From the day I was born. You well, don't remember that? No. I, let me stop itching your eyeballs, Pop. All right, well, the rumor is that happened. I can kind of remember it. I think I had a dream once where that happened. So here I am. And as a result... You know, you live with me now that you're 92. You moved in with your son, Dan. Well, that's, if that's the case, that's good. Well, you do live with me. Huh? You live here, Pop. Yeah, I With do. your son. Right now. Yeah. Are you going to move out on me? Eventually. Where are you going to go? I don't know. All right. I mean, I think you're in a pretty good place. I do, too. Why would you move out? I don't know whatever the reason would be. I don't think you're ever moving out. I yeah. think you love it here too much to ever leave. Well, that's your opinion. It's my opinion. What's your opinion? I'll find out with time. With time? I'll see what happens. I'm not, I can't, I can't tell you what I'm going to do five years from now. All right, Pop. We'll find out. Time will tell. Anything else before we go, Dad? I love all my family. You got to understand that. I know you love all your family, Dad. Yeah. The entire world knows that you love your family more than anything. I hope you're right. The whole world knows that, Pop. You've made it clear what your priorities are. All right, Pop. You're doing good. Thanks for talking with me this morning. Why not? Why wouldn't I talk to my own kids? You do every day. I'm just thanking you because you thank me every day uh -oh. for taking care of you. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. You thank me every day. Why not? I know. Why not? Everybody should think I that said, way. So where are you going? I'm not going anywhere, Pop. I, I live with you and you live with me. So what are we going to do? We're going to hang out here and be bored until lunchtime. Then we're going to eat. 
then we'll be bored again, and then we're going to eat dinner. All right. Anything else, Pop? Not right at the moment. All right, Dad. We'll talk. Thank you for talking and telling me all this. Well, thank you for talking. All right, Dad. <laughs>